doomed. I managed to escape safely, but I'm afraid Venice didn't. My caravan is just north of here. Please see if it's okay. So where were you? Were you coming or going? I could just come into this zone and I'm so like we're doomed and there's like all this wrecked caravan stuff. Were they coming to the plague lands or leaving the plague lands? Inquiring minds would like to know. Dude, horse, what are you doing? You're just standing there. Your cart is obviously stuck. You should leave. Don't just sit there, horse. It's over. raiders. My wares, they're engulfed in flames! Somebody, please put out the fire! Your caravan's kind of all over the place, dude. Amazon Prime, you are not. Let's just put that one. Hurry, hurry! I will use this one bucket and save you. Awesome, you're safe now. For some reason, I have to kill these things. Fire! <laughs> My one bucket of water wasn't enough? Are you kidding me? How is that possible? Look at all this fire. I'm sure my one bucket fire! probably saved everything. It's all good. There's more buckets over here, but I don't have time for that. I gotta go save the world. I've got arcs to find. I pray that some of the good survived the flames. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't put much stock into those prayers. You're traveling to the monastery? Well, just follow this road. I wouldn't go there if I were you though. Almost everyone there caught the plague. It was awful. Even the monks are sick, which leaves no one to take care of the others. It's over. So they're plagued at the monastery too? But I just defeated the plague, so it should be fine now. I mean, Armin just defeated the plague, so it should be fine now. Also, I wanted to point this out. Notice the tripod in this area is like these little runic stones. Watch them when I activate it. They all turn and start glowing for a second. Okay. Keep that in mind because I've noticed as I've explored more and more. It's actually a nice little touch. The tripods are different in different areas. We're short on everything. Uh, this place is in grave danger. Plague is spreading. Our medicines are useless, and anyone who tries to help just gets sick. The situation is growing dire. And now the dead have risen to attack any the plague has spared. Please, help us. I don't know, dude. You just said that anybody that tries to help you gets the plague, so maybe that's not in my best... Um... The last time Judgment. the demons placed some strange orbs in monastery orchards. I'm gonna reread that because I talked over it. I'm sorry. The last time the demons placed some strange orbs in monastery orchards. Plague spread across the land soon after, turning it into a bastion of death. Those things must be related to the plague. Hunt down the orbs and destroy them. All right, to the orchards we go. So just just this one orb that I guess everybody comes here to kill. Okay. That's it? That's the whole quest? It's kind of lame. At least it respawns really fast, but still, it's kind of silly. Ride your horse over here. 
kill this one little thing, and then turn around and ride right back. Those monks not, not the best quest design on that one. Thank you. Father Armin is here, helping us treat the patients. He's tending to the monks over there. Please, go see him. I've got a lot on my mind. I've never seen a disease like this before. I don't know what to do. These people display symptoms similar to those of a snake bite, but their disease is progressing so quickly that I'm worried there might not be enough time to attempt more than one treatment. I've heard stories of a mythical stone with healing properties kept hidden here. Maybe it can alleviate their sickness? Please, see what Brother Allred knows about the stone. It's said to be a piece of jade. Like, what are the odds that this place would have the magical healing item it needs in order to... Oh yeah, that's right, I'm playing up MMO. Never mind. That's totally the odds, okay. Cool monastery design. I'm sure you go inside the, the orbs. I don't know about them. Brother Dylon may be able to help you. He went to support the border post. You'll have to follow him there. He's gone to help the guards. We're short on everything. I'm determined to talk over that guy every time Looking I click on him. Something. Like, every single time that that guy talks, I'm just gonna talk over him from now on. That's my new goal in life. Sorry, Brother Allred, I've just decided that I'm gonna talk over monks you. Thinking. The I'm doing my approaching. best. Every time. It's over. We suffered overwhelming losses. We're too busy trying to survive the next hour to worry about the plague. Think you can exterminate the giant corpse spiders outside the post? No. No. Because that has three words put together that are terrifying and I don't want anything to do it. Giant, corpse, and spiders. You're going to have to find some other hero of the world because I ain't touching that. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, fine, I'll do it. You owe me big we time. You owe me so big on this one. Ugh. I ain't corpse spiders. Ugh. Flesh eating spiders. Ugh. I don't like spiders, guys. I mean... Don't get me wrong. I also don't like wasps. I know we talked about that before. But it's okay for me to not like both. Oops. I ran myself right into that. Oh, God. Do you see that thing pop up? Oh, oh gross. Oh. You guys owe me so big for that. That's disgusting. It's over. You suffered overwhelming losses. I saw the spiders fall. The stone you mentioned. I think it's the serpentine jade. It has superb detoxifying properties. It's in a cave called Achilles Tail, not far from here, but right now it's swarming with demons. It'll be too dangerous to get in there. 
Oh yeah, sure. So you don't have any problem sending me to kill a giant corpse spider. Ugh. But you're like, oh, I don't want you to go in there and get the stone that can save everybody's life. It's too dangerous. Screw you, man. I'll do what I want. And sometimes what I don't want. Because I did not want to kill a giant corpse spider. Woo! Okay, so this place should sound rather familiar because it's a Keelix tail. And we just did a Keelix head. So apparently, we're getting all up inside both ends of a Keelix. Whoever that is. Getting ourselves nice and cozy. I don't remember too much about this one. I'm thinking this thing must be a Keelik. But if it is, his head's not nearly big enough for this whole dungeon. And why is his tail all the way in the other zone? It doesn't make any sense. So I showed... No, I didn't show... I didn't show much of Achilles' tell, but I will tell you that uh, there are some secret hidden areas in there as well. But these secret areas are really not that hard to find if you just take a little time to explore. And I point out it's secret because as you can see, I'm not actually on the map right now. There's one more seed there. So there's two seeds for you. Two out of six. Okay. I don't know. I remember this place at all. You don't have to kill these flowers. You just have to boot scoot boogie through them. So that they are going to blow up. They'll blow up if you stand there long enough. seed behind the spider whip thing there. So they go through exploding. Sometimes there's little spots there, like you can get between the walls. 
I thought maybe if you blew that flower up, you it would let you go in between the balls there. But no. So we'll just keep going. guy's kind of a mini boss. Oh no! That was too much damage there. Stop making them use my dodge before you use your big exploding things. Thank you. This dude does not want to die. Hi, dude. Would you die? die. Very stubborn. Many points for stubbornness. This is the actual boss though. Where he, uh, where I thought he was gonna stand still for a second, so I could hit him with my big damagey thing three times. Okay, this is tricky. We gotta be oh, in between them, which I did not do. Once again, do as I say, not as I do. Super for bad. In case you were wondering, don't do that. You guys didn't come here for major league game gamer pro gamer strats and stuff, so you're not looking for the skills. This is a story. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good. This is not the place for 
Major League Gamers. <laughs> I am not a skill-based channel at all, in the least. Okay, here's one. I don't think all four are in here. I think I missed a hidden spot someplace. So if you know where the hidden spot is that I missed with my MLG Pro Gamer skills, you let me know. Feel free to share with everybody. Share with the class. So is it weird that the dungeon that has no quest has a little story cutscene at the end of it and then the quest one has no story stuff at all? That seems odd to me. This serpentine shade, we should be able to treat those suffering from the plague. I can sense the mystical energy in this place. In this jade, sorry. I'll begin the treatment. Let me handle things here. Would you travel to Yudia and look for... <laughs> How are you feeling? I believe I owe you my life. My friend and I are on our way to Udia in search of the Ark. Father Verut said that we must look for the Morai ruins. We were wondering if you've ever heard of it. Morai? Um, yes, I think so. According to legend, it was the capital of Encavia. Right up until it sank. I believe the nomads of the Salt Desert would know more. Their ancestors came from Engavia. Before you set out, get the Tome of the Pilgrim from Brother Ulred. I'm sure it will prove useful. Okay, two things. One... If you heard him starting to give you the next quest before the cutscene started, that is some kind of weird bug in the game that does happen if there's like a you turn in a quest and then there's another quest and a cutscene in between it, it'll do that. So every once in a while you'll start to hear the the quest dialogue as the cutscene begins and then it'll just kind of fade out like it did there. I'm assuming since the game's been out in Korea for a while that's not going to get fixed. Sorry. But it's not that bad. Two. If you've been enjoying the game so far, I've got good news. Because when we get to Moria, it gets even better. It gets so much better. And if you've been kind of on the fence, hang with me. Because once we get to Moria, it's going to be good. Would you travel to Yudia and look for a way to get to Morai Ruins? Or Morai Ruins, not Moria, sorry. I'll follow you when I'm done purging the plague. 